Retired Assistant Police Commissioner Paul Slow has described the recent statement by the government as hilarious. The government statement is about certain agencies requesting information from the United States. The government of Ghana takes very seriously the, not cl the claims contained in the press release and will continue to engage relevant United States in entities on these matters. But Sloan noted that these agencies have been cited by the very United States statement. They include the Guyana Revenue Authority. People say that those very agencies are involved in this corruption. No, no. <laughs> the United States saying that people in the government officials, they specifically mentioned GRA. The part may not have specifically mentioned the police, but they are the ones the people claiming getting bright for love this gold to go and come people to travel with money and smuggle money out of the country. And you are saying that they are going to be the ones to <laughs> I said, this thing hilarious, you're putting cap for watch me. He said that having identified the agencies involved in local corruption, it's unlikely that the United States would respond to such a request from these agencies. There is no way that the US government will provide information um, to them to compromise whatever investigation they're doing. The U.S. has a way of saying, we will speak to our indictments. So when it matter got to court, you're going to get the whatever information you want. You've got a senior officer from the Guided Police Force in the form of Mitchell Caesar. He was pulled in by the U.S. You ask him anything? You ask him what they asked him? Did he give a statement? Did he tell you what was the nature of the questioning, that lengthy questioning? But you are going to ask, you got a request from the U.S. Uh, agencies, more details on this matter.